You're listening to the Metal Experience. Only on Slam Internet Radio. And we just heard Killswitch Engage's fixation on the dark. Fixation of the dark. Of the dark, you told me on, you dummy. Converge, Dark Horse, and Bleeding Through, Love Lost in a Hell of Gunfire. Yay! We're back in the studio with Tyrannus Presents! Yay! Yay! <laughs> So, uh, why don't you guys introduce yourselves, tell us who's not here, and all that good stuff. Well, currently our drummer, Mike Gorecki, who is new to the band, uh, he is not here today because he is at work. Oh, yes, sir. Does he have a cool job, at least? Uh, he drives a forklift. That's pretty sweet. Does he get to run people over with it? It's pretty metal, yeah. <laughs> well, if he runs people over, then it's awesome. <laughs> Who wants to start the introductions? Might as well uh, go since you already said something. Okay. Um, I'm Ed, uh, oh, and yeah. I play guitar. And, and I'm Nick. I'm vocals. And brand, I'm Kevin. Brand new member, Nick? Yeah. The, this, yes, hi, this hi. Is How long have you... Uh, oh, I'm sorry. In the last... <laughs> we kind of cut you off. Oh, well, well, I play bass, so it doesn't really matter. I'm, True. I'm Kevin, by True. the way. You so were anyway. the alcoholic last time on our show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes, I was. I don't know why he's here. Technically, he's banned from the show. He comes to please everyone. I, I just said fuck it and just came anyway. Okay. So how long have you get, had this new lineup, you guys? Um, what? Well, with Mike in the band, it's only been a month. With Mike. with Nick, it's been what two or three? No, longer since like longer than February, February, really. Since like February, yeah. So it's I don't. been like six months. Yeah, I've take. lost Give track of time. So then, before you had the final drummer, how were you guys practicing without a drummer? And who was in the well, band? Oh, we had a drummer, but it just really wasn't working. Yeah, we actually announced that old drummer on here. So it was a drummer, Kevin, and Ed. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. And then when, well, when we got rid of him, it didn't take too long for us to find Mike. It only, it what, a lot, less a than a month? Than we, yeah, it was yeah. like two weeks. Less than a month. I wow, met Mike how, at how a did show. you just randomly find a drummer? Yeah, That's I met really Mike awesome. at a show. I, um... He is in another band called South End. They're more... And Drowning. Yeah. Oh, um, I've heard of South End. Yeah. Um, he's their guitarist, but um, I went to a local show, and I was talking to people who knew me from this band, and I was saying how we were kind of changing up our sound a bit, and... A lot of it. Yeah. A, lot <laughs> a of bit is it. an understatement. <laughs> um and we started talking to him, and he was interested, and then we jammed with him one day, and it, that was probably just one of those, yeah, he's in. So he went from guitar in another band to drums in your band? Yes. He but still he plays, plays guitar. What a plays multi-talented plays, son of a bitch. He plays guitar in two bands and then drums for us. Very much so. Rock and roll. So what's this new sound that you're talking about? Um, um, well, it, it's, it's very more metal core. old school metalcore. Yes, very. Um, what did you consider yourselves before? We were melodic death, like a lot of at the gates, bleeding through, or not bleeding through, uh, at the Dahlia gates, Murder. carcass, black Dahlia Murder. I mean, we still have those influences for sure, but we just added more. Yeah, it, it's it's very. We're not so. I don't want to say aggressive. We're not always in a. Mm, we're less pissed key. off than we yeah. were. It's two it's years it's ago. more so kill switch esque. All that remains. Um, August burns red. That's that's what we're going for now. So, this and is what we wanted to do after a while, and we just decided to stick with it. And we like the direction we're going. We're really happy. It. It was and it was the era of music we all grew up in. Like we all grew up in that, a late '90s, early 2000s metal, and. You know, I love death metal. Uh, don't get me wrong. I still love, uh, you know, that whole sound. But I feel better playing what we do now versus what we did then. We have more fun playing this stuff, too, which is, I think, the most important thing. It's because we more have more of a wide range. We weren't so, I don't know, set in one state of mind. We can just pretty much, it's like a free-for-all, so. Nick, what were your influences coming into the band, and how did you end up uh, actually joining these guys? Uh, actually, I used to work with Ed. Go hot topic. Hey, <laughs> but, uh, promotion. <laughs> that's where we started, and uh, I used to play in previous bands. Um, Anything we'd know? Probably not. I used, play, <laughs> <laughs> I used to play in a college band called Ictus, and uh, it what? Ictus. 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 And okay. Uh, Hi, guy riding. I was hoping that guy on the bike would have run into that window. <laughs> 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 he just couldn't keep our eyes off of us that he ran into the window. 
Oh. Yeah, yes, we, we weren't that great looking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were kind of like a lot of uh, Jimmy Eat World Foo Fighters type deal. But uh, I mean, back early in high school, 2002, I was what a sophomore in high school, and um, I loved Kill Switch Engage and like Chimera, Bleeding Through, and I looked up to a lot of those vocalists, and I just started picking up a mic after time to time, and I just loved it. So. When Ed found out I sang and stuff, this and that, and he's like, you want to come try out for us? And uh, apparently to, to you guys, I was sold and golden. So I've been here ever since. Can't get rid of me, I guess, now. Versus the people we were trying out, it was, it was a no-brainer. Um, you were kind of in before that, but in all, with all fairness, we were trying out different people. So, How many people did you try out? Um... Officially one. There were people who sent <laughs> us stuff. There were one, people. Nick. No, no. There you were people, beat one person. You beat out one there other were people, person. There were people who sent us stuff like them doing vocal covers and everything, but um, like it didn't really catch us. Like it wasn't what we were looking for. And then the person who actually came to try out. Um, <sighs> it was not good. It was. It was. We, we had a bad time. We, we pizzaed when we should have french fried. <laughs> I, I've never even heard that expression now. I'm you don't watch sure South Park, do you? You don't watch South For Park. For good reason. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. I mean, if they're using pizza and french fry analogies, you've it, lost It's me. for skiing. It's skiing. It's skiing. You know pizza, french fry. Pizza, french fry. It's how you slow down and go faster. Or it's just like what we consider ourselves, Kevin, cheeseburger core. Cheeseburger and why? Core. <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> we got a little bit we of everything. A little bit of everything. Yes. Nice. That's uh, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're pizza core. Or was it cheeseburger core? Cheeseburger core. core. <laughs> Bunch of condiments in one. So, I mean, if you're calling yourself cheeseburger core, uh, do you have a Are slogan? Are you guys the first of your genre? I mean, do you guys have a slogan for it, like terror in his presence? Cheeseburger um, core with a little bit of Your everything. metal happy meal has come. <laughs> oh, I, I like that. I just like to say fuck you with terror in his presence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like your metal happy meal has come. <laughs> I don't know. At this, a lot of our slogans are going to be like... Or a cheeseburger core. Would you like some fries with that? <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Boom. Would you like to super that shit that? right now? <laughs> oh, God. So you guys are in the recording studio now, you said? No, you're, we're, we're going to be going really soon. We're actually finishing up a lot of our writing right now. Um, we... Since Mike joined the band, um, we have written what three or four songs. Probably in a matter of ten yeah. minutes. Yeah, yeah, in a matter of ten minutes. Me, uh, Mike basically is just like, okay, Ed, play something, and then a song is written. It comes naturally, so it makes life a lot easier dealing with people like that. So we're hoping to get back in the studio um, next month. And where were you planning on uh, recording? Um, it's. We're deciding either between where we went last time, which is VI Studios, and we enjoyed it there, but at but the same time, um, we know another place, uh, Adversary, um, I don't know if it's studio or records, whatever, um, but he, he's, we've known him from playing local shows, and he's, uh, me and him are kind of good friends, so, and he does the same amount of work, and he's willing to cut us a slack financially so it's one of those uh in this instance i know a lot of times you never want to go cheap on recordings because once you do you kind of you get what you pay for but with him he does really good quality work for a uh, pretty decent price so bands like us don't go broke nice. how many songs are you planning on putting on this album 10 we're doing a full length nice 10 so songs yes is How many songs do you have? They, they had four. We had four on the original. Uh, we had four written thus far, but we have a lot of... Uh, we we have some of the old material still, but we've altered it. Like it, like the stuff you're going to hear that uh, from our older stuff, it's close to what it originally was, but we altered it in little ways to kind of fit how we are now. Pretty much musically it's the same, but like the lyrics have changed. And then Most there's part. just, yeah, there's some minor differences in key changes. There's, so. there's more clean vocals now yeah. than we've ever done ever. So, so well, realistically, well, technically we never had, had clean, clean vocals, vocals so <laughs> any <laughs> kind of clean vocals would be more. Realistically, we have seven full songs done, and then we have other songs that we are currently working on um, and that I am guarantee by the end of the month will be all set on. 
So then you plan on making this like an actual CD, CD, and getting the cover and everything. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Go big or go home. And are you going to do a bonus acoustic track on the CD? Um, because you are doing an acoustic song. You know what? For us. That would that would be a this really good us, so. that would be a really good idea because um, I mean you could get the the regular CD or you can get the dual <laughs> acoustic super dual. Uber bonus deluxe digi pack. Yeah, <laughs> one extra song. Pay your extra. $6 you can for pay an song. extra dollar for this CD <laughs> with one extra track on it, or you could pay. One last dollar. Well, my back. idea was actually to put the CD out as is and then put the old material on as, like, the digipack to kind of show where we've come from as a band. There you go. And how much we've blossomed. Yes. <laughs> We're out of the training bra stage now. <laughs> yeah. We've got a real one. <laughs> like Adam D. said, I'm going to rock your training bra off. Or mosh your training bra off. It was mosh your training bra. Off. I don't like. So that. how excited are you that Jesse's back, Morgan? We had this argument last time, and you didn't believe me. <laughs> I told you. I am pretty stoked to see them live again. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, for sure. I I love Howard. I'm, I miss Howard, but Jesse, after seeing him with Adam when I saw Times of Grace, it's awesome. So, huh. I mean, I liked him when they, when Phil played. I was in heaven then. I was just like, oh my god, it's Phil. It's Kill Switch. It's Adam and it's, Phil. It's Phil but Switch. It's, it's Phil, Phil Switch Engage. Switch. Phil I should have gotten that shirt when I had the sh time, but I didn't. Um, there was a shirt that said Phil Switch yeah. Engage. Yes. For the nice. tour, they made Phil Switch Engage awesome. shirts. Nice. And I wish I had gotten one, but I didn't. But yeah, um, I, I really like Jesse's voice, and I cannot wait to the new CD. Have you heard the new track yet? Yes. So actually, it was, it? it was in Hazard no. that uh, brought it up to us when they came on the show and we played clips from it. So it was awesome. So happy with it. Yeah, it turned out really well. I'm indifferent. Yeah, you don't care anymore. Yeah. Just like the new All That Remains. Is I pretty released. much only and listen to local bad. bands. You know what? Uh, listening to it today, I enjoyed it, but it's very overprocessed. It's not nitty gritty like all that remains used to be. Like if you listen to this darkened heart, it which had, was the best album. It had and then balls. Fall of Ideas was awesome, but I don't know. Overcome was okay, and the CD after that. For was, we are many. Yeah, for we are many was. Uh, I feel like this is gonna be their death magnetic, where they probably. take this step in the right direction. Probably going back a little bit more toward Overcome, but I, I'd like to hear. Them. I, I mean, all the metalcore bands have lost it here and there on a CD, and I feel like they need to go back to what they sounded like before. I feel like Jesse's return is gonna is gonna do that because if you heard the new, um, God forbid, it is fantastic. fantastic. It sounds like a lot of their older stuff, and I yeah. love it. Which my brother was the one that showed me that, and I did yeah. like it. They're, when I saw them live, they were good, but on CD, their past couple albums have sucked. Just like Shadows Fall, <sighs> New Shadows Fall has been god awful. Are you see, I love the new album. I think it's brilliant. I don't know. I liked New One Earth album better than Shadows Fall. I agree with that. <laughs> I do agree. I heard that much. Luco, Luco doesn't I, care. I stopped listening to all that. <laughs> Luco got out of that metal course. And now I just, I'm back to my Exodus CDs and all my old stuff. I'm going to start Have you heard listening the new to more Sepultura. And uh, then, uh, yeah, it's just all the local bands. Have you heard the New Testament? I have not. The I new saw them live, though. It's fantastic. Yeah, we saw them live. It was with anthrax um hey ed was there ed you were there <laughs> yeah, i was there hey that's crazy i just remembered <laughs> i was there so let's play an old terror song let's see what you guys uh have sounded like before and then further into the show those still listening can hear you guys play an acoustic song with your awesome new singer nick yay yay so uh what song did you guys want to play to show more of um the brutalness the, the, the brutalness uh i would go with, i would go with calignosity yeah calignosity it's one of the few songs we kept the same. Yeah. All right. That song has balls. Yes, it does. B A W L S. Uh, Dave. Dave, you're slacking, bro. He nodded his head at me.
listening to the Metal Experience. Only on Slam Internet Radio. And we are back listening to Terror and His Presence is Old Stuff. And what was that song called again? Cal- that was Cal- Calicity. What is it called now, Nick? Uh, we are calling that one SWAT. No, that's not SWAT. No, that's not SWAT. I'm sorry. This is Black Snake Moan. No, I'm sorry. Okay. Black Snake Moan. Yeah, there's a theme. There's a reoccurring theme to our songs. Wh- they're so all they're Samuel L. Jackson movies? Yes, yeah. they are. Oh, uh, <laughs> by an ass. <laughs> so which one's called Snakes on a Plane? Oh, we we don't have that. We haven't decided. What, that yet. what are the other the, names? The, the one we're gonna. Is fucking stupid. The one we're gonna <laughs> are play. Are we doing tonight. Pulp Fiction? Yes, yes. tonight is Pulp yes! Fiction. Yes, I love that movie. <laughs> we're doing Pulp yes, Fiction so tonight. Um, this th- night just got better, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Running down the line, we have Pulp yeah. Fiction. Yeah. We have Unbreakable. These are the new songs. <laughs> Unbreakable. SWAT. We have Black Snake Moan. The uh, other guys. The other guys <laughs> that we're in the process of finishing up. Um. What's the other one? Now, when these the songs, are you having clips of the movies in it? Actually, yeah. We're going to have Sweet! some clips. Pulp uh, Fiction. Uh, Pulp Fiction uh, we're going to have, like, m- I'm giving away too much, but I don't <laughs> care. Uh, we're going to have, like, m- <laughs> the Moonlight Sonata, but I kind of edited it a little bit. Um, Edi- edited, e- it. E- e- edited it. Yes, <laughs> edited it. Edited it. Edited it. <laughs> um, um, but it's going to be the ending scene where Samuel L. Jackson is talking to the guy in the diner. And he's got the gun character. on him. So that it, it's, yeah, it turned out a lot better than we thought. We were, me and Kevin were drunk at my buddy's, at our buddy Rob's house when we came up with that. I heard and it, it and worked. I heard it, and it w- I instantly came in my pants because it just fits so, so it great. Really did. Now, do the lyrics go along with Samuel L. L. Jackson? Uh, Certain scenes. songs, certain songs go with the title, but not so much th- what the movie's about. So, what line from the other guys are you using? We're not sure. We're, we're not, not going to use lines in every we're song. Just using movie certain li- like certain, certain song where certain songs are going to have. But lines you're going to scream in the song. You're a peacock. You gotta let me fly, right? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> that's still up for debate. Or oh. at least live, you're gonna scream. Me. Okay, this one's called the other guys. And at <laughs> the end, we'll, we'll, we'll do it. For we'll we'll peacock, do it for you gotta let me fly. Oh, wait, go do that again, Dave. We'll do it for you, Morgan. Dave. You're a smart motherfucker. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> that was not your peacock. You gotta let me fly. But, but that, anyway. that wasn't Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah, what the. I know, but I'm just saying. But it doesn't fit the motif. <laughs> it doesn't. Uh, you can still use that quote Shh. as lyrics. It was the first thing that popped in my head when we were writing the song. <laughs> to be quite honest with you. See, Shit. see, Nick thinks alike. It's awesome. It's okay, guys. Whatever. It's okay. Okay, so continue. Your other song titles. Uh, then we had uh, Osiris, the spirit. Is the spirit? I yeah. love that movie. It's so underrated. Yeah, that's. It's awesome. <laughs> it really is. SWAT is. Uh, was fragile obsession the spirit was no saviors and then black snake moan was calignosity a lot of our changing has to do with the fact that we just since the old band for what it was is no longer it like what we are now we kind of just decided that we were better off um switching everything so have you come up with an idea of how you want your album artwork to look? Are you guys all just going to stand there and have different Samuel L. Jackson heads on your bodies? No, but I actually came up with a funny um, t-shirt idea. It's going to be um, from Pulp Fiction where Kevin he's got the gun. Or he's got <laughs> the gun. Kevin's already shaking his head going, I don't like it. He no, just, Kevin doesn't just like anything. I, li- I don't like anything. No, he really doesn't. It's, most, like, it's okay. Thing, I, I like booze. That's about it. Yeah, you seem really depressed tonight. Alcoholica. Okay, I'm anyway, sorry. continue. Uh, um, apparently, I don't care what Kevin has to say <laughs> now. Nope. <laughs> we already had this argument in the car, Kevin. Um, <laughs> we, um, I'm unaware of this. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's going to be the picture of Samuel L. Jackson with his gun out when he's doing like the, the say what scene from Pulp Fiction. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, and it's going to say, say dubstep again, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Is that... What the album's gonna be called? No, no, oh, that would be awesome. <laughs> That's you could be like, okay, Rob Roman from Orinoco, say dubstep again, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, I don't get it. Rob Roman, remember when he came on here and all he wanted to play oh, was dubstep? Oh yeah, there was like eight <laughs> minutes of just the same beat. We're like, we're like what, what the hell is that? this? I, if I really oh, want to listen to that, I'm just gonna buy an old computer and listen to the modem start up. Heyo, Zang. 
So no album idea covers though. Not at the yeah. moment. It'll come to us in about well, one like that a week. Kevin or so. wants to bitch and moan about, but we'll, 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 we'll <laughs> something out. <laughs> it's it's fuck with Kevin night. It really is. Usually I'm the peer mediator, but this time I'm like it's, it's like all, all hands on Kevin. So oh, when we oh, were at break, you guys <laughs> were telling us something interesting that the drummer that you guys had try out, Mike, Mike, that's his name, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Common name. I could call Mike anybody, but anyway, um, he tried out and he was in a foot cast. No, he wasn't in a foot cast. He, was like going he had a broken foot, and he was going through physical therapy at the time. And just the fact that he was able to do the double bass with a, like a pretty much a broken foot. He was, was a champ. Awesome. After five hours of physical therapy and then band practice, like following right afterwards. So I mean, he's a champ. He really is. And that's why you guys canceled the. Yeah, 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 we we canceled all you that son because of bitches. well, Sorry. he he had he had physical therapy and you know we can't expect him to be at his best when he's got a busted ass foot. And then I, I Ed had was on to, a murder trial. Yes, I had to for Drew do Peterson. my I had to do my civic duty and I had jury duty. But I have a real mustache. I don't need to make a fake mustache. <laughs> so uh, the Drew Peterson trial. What did you guys determine? I, I'm not at liberty. <laughs> If he you says were, anything, Drew Peterson will kill him. You were actually selected mm-hmm. for jury duty, or you just... I was I was selected, but the case, like, it got f- it got thrown out by the end of the freaking day. So we were sitting there for no reason. It's like, money! Did you get $17. paid $17. <laughs> you got paid $17? $17. Nice. How many hours were you there? Um, so I was there. I had to be there at 9 in the morning, and I didn't get out till like... Six? Did they buy you lunch? No. Well, then I'd call the state and I'd be like, I got $17 and I could have made more at my job. Fuck you. That is and, a dinner and, for two. And then they would care. be like, well, well, we don't care. Everyone got $17. make you 50 cents an hour here sitting here? That guy's pants are way up. <laughs> I, I like them. But that guy's but he's cart a hobo. is full Do up. you expect anything less? No. <laughs> he looked great. Uh, I had to do jury duty once, and I just read you a book. You did jury duty? And then they came in there, and they never asked me any questions, and then I went back into my room and read some more book, and then I left. You did jury boring. duty? Yeah, like I did jury duty. Ago. I, I was one and I watched dude. The View all day. I make Wait, excuses for jury you have, duties. How does jury duty work? I'm so you confused. You sit there and do you, nothing. You sit yeah. there in a room, and they give you a number, and if your number is called, that's that your jury is that number. And if your number is called, you have to go into a room, and they ask you a bunch of questions to select you for the jury. Like, and show if, me on the dollar and, he touched you. <laughs> and so then, you're not in a courtroom watching No, you the are in a courtroom. If that's you get picked, they, yes. Yeah. But for the first couple hours, you're sitting in a room with a bunch of people, and you can't leave until they say you can go on lunch. And if you're not back in time, you get fined. Like, if you come to jury duty and then you go to lunch and you're, like, 15 minutes late, they will fine you for being late. There goes your $17. And, it, yeah, it's, an, like, an extreme amount of money. It's, I really don't understand. I don't remember if I even got paid. I think you only got paid if you were selected, right? No. no, you got paid for you, being If you there. stayed oh. the whole time, you got like a check for like ten dollars. Like even my remember. grandma on Christmas gives me a check for more than this. Basically. Nice. All right. Well, apparently civic duty sucks. And yeah. Welcome to being in a metal band. Welcome to Crook County. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we're DuPage. Well, so. you're DuPage. Special. We're Crook County. Yeah. We actually just saw Cook Crook County Jail. Crook County's the other day. finest. It How did wonderful. that make you feel? Like I was scared. I felt my safe. Life. I felt safe. Speaking did of you, uh, was a lot saying, of barbed wire. Did, did you notice the uh, sign that said, don't pitch it, pick up hitchhikers? I didn't. <laughs> we looked for one. We didn't. We saw someone having a picnic right outside the jail. It was I was waiting cool. on the side of the road for like three hours. And nobody picked me up, and I was very <laughs> oh, sad. We didn't see you, Were you Kevin. standing next to the sign? I, I was not. I was like a block away from the Were you the just sign. getting out? Because you could have <laughs> called us. Kevin, oh. it's the mustache. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not. You look. You look a little bit different without the booze in your hand. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like I said, I will run down to the liquor store. No, 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 no. The big Aww. bottle of Jack. I'll, it, dude, it was Jameson. The, the I think the Brian. most memorable moment of that night is, Ed, you're driving, right? Oh, God. No. Ed, you're going to call me when you get home, right? <laughs> yeah. You, well, you're li- so alive. Kevin, you... Anyway. <laughs> hey, Dave, shit. let's do a segment so I don't have to get mad at Kevin again. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Listening to the drug deal of the house, please. Let's hear it from the soundboard. Okay. 
What do you got for us, Dave? All yeah. right, uh, just really quick. Um, U.S. tour dates are announced for the splits, negative approach, and double negative. Uh, Who? Who? Uh, off the splits, negative approach, du- double negative, and power trip. Who? Who? All I've heard of what? is off. <laughs> off is the only band I know in that lineup. Uh, off like the Bucks Bay? No, good lord. <laughs> anyway, if anyone's interested, uh, the tour dates are online. Sadly, and uh, oh, they are coming to Chicago. They're coming to the Bottom Lounge uh, Saturday, why, why October twenty seventh. I, I thought I didn't see Chicago there. Oh. So I just I almost kicked my own ass. It's okay. Um, Dave does his research. Like, like five right minutes when before. he puts his sweeper. Yeah. Yep. Oh, Dave. I'm awesome like that. Uh, if, if anyone's interested in seeing Jello Biafra and the Guantanamo School of Medicine, they're actually you playing. You need to slow down a little bit when you say some of these names. Say <sighs> that again. Jello Biafra. And, and the, the Guantanamo, Guantanamo School, School of Medicine. Medicine. What the fuck is that? Yeah, it's Jello Biafra's new band. Who is this person? It's the old From singer of Dead Kennedys. Kennedys. Come on, Morgan. Okay, Keep oh my shit together. Yeah, now, the, the, now she's pissing me off. I don't like. I, don't, I, don't, I thought we were friends. <laughs> I don't Apparently know. not. I don't know you. That was the booze talking. You. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're coming to Chicago and they're coming to Reggie's, which is great. So, uh, it's only like a few bucks for the ticket, which is awesome. So uh, five dollars? Yeah. No, like, more like sixteen, but. That's not a few. That's or a you lot. can come to our show on the That's same day for five dollars. Boo! Sold. Wow. To Kevin. And it's yeah. Ob, but but it's but it's in it's in an interesting neighborhood. All yeah. right, I'm out. Oh, Let's twenty go, tw- <laughs> twenty what twenty six twenty fourth and Kedzie. Kedzie. Oh, that's lovely. I do Ooh. boring, not interesting neighborhoods. <laughs> All right, Dave, continue. The ghost in Scott. Uh, can't. The ghost, ghost in Scott. The ghost inside. Why is the ghost in Scott? <laughs> the ghost inside. Um, I know them. The movie? Uh, no, they, no, they they just the uh, with Whoopi Goldberg. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> they're, they're actually discussing uh, the, the meaning of the song "The Great Unknown" off their new album. So if you want to go watch that video, you can. It's nice. online. That new job for a cowboy m- video sucks dick. Well, you know. Anyway. <laughs> Whoa. Blowjob blow blow for a cowboy sucks dick, so. Whoa. Agreed. Oh. Agreed. So anyway, Whoa. hold on a second there. Dave. Hold on, Tony Danza. <laughs> okay, what? <laughs> Hi. What else you got for us? All right, who likes I Kill the Prom Queen? I you, do. I do. do. Are they coming back around? This uh, is the first time that anybody in a band has gone, oh, I care about what Dave has to say. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Ed. <laughs> It's anyway, okay, th- Dave. They're releasing a new album next year. Are they? Oh, yes. Supposedly. So exci- you Shut your whore mouth, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> you made someone come. He's happy. Continue, wow. Dave. Uh, August Burns Red <laughs> to release another holiday album. It's Woo! The-, <laughs> the only Christmas music I will ever listen to. Uh, but it's coming out in October. That makes no sense. <laughs> Dumb. You want it ready for Christmas, you dick. Uh, yeah, that. they're actually doing a cover of Frosty the Snowman nice. and <laughs> stuff like that. I am bored already. <laughs> they make Christmas albums. And, oh, and, and uh, the we snow. wish you a Merry Christmas and Winter Wonderland. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, the album's going to be called uh, Sledden Hill, a Holiday Album. Good that's Lord. the gayest thing I've ever heard. Yeah, that's pretty gay. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty bad. Um, <laughs> I'd like to make a slasher Christmas album and take all the names and put them in like a horror Thing and make them brutal Christmas songs. Cool. Uh, How original. Are too. <laughs> huh? Whores are people, too. Be nice. <laughs> okay. Horror. Oh. Horror. H O R R. It's okay. Kevin, you make no <laughs> sense without book. alcohol. Continue, Dave. All right. Um, yeah, uh, n- uh, yeah. New music has come out for the casualties for their uh, new album uh, called Resistance. My blood, my life, the, always the forward. casualties? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you, Dave. Oh, come I'm on. punk as fuck, man. I'm pretty... Luco, Kevin is taking your job right now. He's fucking he's with Dave. He's doing really good. He's fucking he's with Dave really more good. than you are. He's doing really oh, good. Oh, and they're, they are coming to Chicago, but they're part of Riot Fest, and I don't have a ticket for that day. Oh. Wait a minute. Dave, Dave are, you go, are you going to see a day to remember? Oh. Dave's hell, going to see a day no. to remember. <laughs> Why would I go see a day to remember? Because I'm going fan. to Riot Fest That's just awesome. to see Elvis Costello. Fuck all the other bands. Hey, Iggy and the Stooges. I, uh, for, s- for some reason, Andrew WK is going to be there. Hey, hey, hey! Andrew Dude, WK. You leave awesome. Andrew WK alone. No, I, I'm just—it's kind of weird that he's in that lineup. But not at all. Not at all. Yeah, you think that's forever. weird? Quars in that lineup. That's Elvis Costello. Elvis Quar Costello the is in that lineup. Someone take Kevin's mic off. He's talking too much. Elvis Costello over here. That's because Elvis Costello is awesome. <laughs> Dave, shut your mic off too. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all you guys can go back to doing whatever the hell you oh, do. Oh, sweet. <laughs> So pretty much what we've been Why doing. Why is he the still fans. talking? Oh, jeez. Oh, Morgan, <laughs> calm down. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, as long She's as it's not, not kidding. As long as it's not Elvis Costello. Are you going to cry, Kevin? 
I might. Oh Don't hurt my feelings. It's okay. Hi, Cry Kevin. Is metal. It's okay. You want to? No, it's not. You want to have any A session here? Is that what you're missing right now? <laughs> no. <man. laughs> oh my. Well, no. A, in Kevin's uh, world, A <laughs> is for quitters. Okay. Alcoholics <laughs> go, to, go meetings. to meetings. Drunks go to parties. Kevin's a, a drunk. Kevin well, hasn't coped with his problems yet. Maybe we should start right now. Intervention. How about, how about your band? We'll start with your Ed family members how, start walking up around how, the corner. Uh, Ed See, is here's my problem about though. Your addiction, but, Kevin. but here's my problem listen, though. When when listen he's to what he has to say right now. But my issue is when he's drunk, he puts on a hell of a live show. God damn. So right I can't I, I can't really like I have to and I know it's terrible. Children do not. Kevin, your alcohol. mom. <laughs> She's here for the <laughs> intervention. Hey, mom. Children, <laughs> Children do not do not turn to alcoholism. Do Why not do you be like Kevin. Your eye? Do not be like Kevin. But anyway, no, the like his best stage show is when he's drunk because that's why Kevin doesn't give a fuck and he just does whatever he wants. I give a fuck less than I already give a fuck. And that's pretty not non existent to begin with. <laughs> so unfortunately I have to enforce his his bad decisions. I can well, do, if they're I can for the better of the band. <laughs> I, I mean, you, you're condoning drinking and driving, which you did last time. He wouldn't here. give me his keys. Nobody touches my fucking car keys. Not I don't want to fight a drunk. Do you? Yes. <laughs> I'll fight Here you go. Next time Kevin gets drunk and you need to drive home, Dave. Dave. Call, call Dave. Dave. And Dave will beat him for you. <laughs> can I, can I bring my back? Just bring it, beat him off for I you. I mean, <laughs> Dave... I, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, you have my permission to do whatever you want to Kevin, as long as you got the car keys from him and give them to Ed. I mean, sweet, whatever. I mean, I still love you, Kevin. Thanks, Luco. He Fuck all the rest of those bitches. What you guys, what you and Luco didn't see on the way home is Kevin made a left turn at a light that said no left turns. Awesome. In front of traffic. <laughs> yes. How about we change the subject now? <laughs> so you lied to me when you said you got home safely because you almost died. Well, safely is a but matter of perspective. <laughs> safely no, is a matter of perspective. So anyway, uh, how, how about those bears, huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you said change the subject. You didn't say where. <laughs> oh, Dave. True, Dave. So I, I've got an idea. How about we hear another one of your old songs that you're okay. changing the name of? Uh, let's, go with, um, let's go with Fragile Obsession, a.k.a. SWAT. Sweet. <laughs>
You're listening to The Metal Experience. Only on Slam Internet Radio. And uh, we're back with the show. And We, we lost waiting, a member. We're waiting for Princess Kevin to come back from frolicking from outside. What a fruit loop. Yeah. Hold on. Let him put his panties back on. One You're back. Did it. Oh. What? Oh. Uh. Is there any rapping to this? Yes. So anyway, what was that song we just heard? Uh, that would be, now it is called SWAT. What you heard, though, is um, Fragile Obsession. I don't know. What are the lyrics about for SWAT for you? Cause SWAT? I, yeah. They used to be about. Don't know. No. Kevin, I swear to God, I will jump over Nick and fucking kill you. I, this is not a joke. Well, actually, I wasn't going to say that. You were. Don't you I lie, wasn't. you son I of a bitch. I was going to say they're about killing don't somebody. say and that. that uh, like, dismembering <laughs> them and just taking their insides out, but it's not about yes. that anymore. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't know what it's about now anymore. Now, basically, it's pretty yeah, much Christ about star. saving yourself from yourself. As stupid as that sounds, but it's just like, I mean... Design the skyline. No, 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 no. We're not, we're not, we're not going that line. So you guys no. didn't write a song about the Kristen Stewart, Robert Pattinson breakup. No. 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 Oh. Be a lot cooler <laughs> if you did. <laughs> she write a song called Twilight Broke My Heart. <laughs> just so saying. Or we could just call it Kristen Stewart Broke Ed's Heart. <laughs> Kevin, I'm gonna fucking kill you. That is an awesome idea. I'm gonna fucking kill you. See, I got backers on this one. Hey yo. Like yeah, but her calls. her opinion doesn't matter. I think it'd be oh, awesome yeah. for you to write from Robert Pattinson's point of view. <laughs> what do you think? I sparkled for you. <laughs> I sparkled for you! <laughs> nice! And you broke my fucking heart, oh. you lifeless bitch. I like it. New turn in his presence, taking the twilight turn. Because we all know that Bane has more facial expressions than Kristen Stewart. That's because that's he's wearing a mask. That's because he's really Sean Connery. <laughs> he's Sean Connery. Let's talk a little bit about what you guys have coming up. Uh, shows, yeah, anything? We have um, a show oh, August shit. 24th. The day after my 21st birthday. It's a Friday. You it's youngin'. Be rowdy. I know, you're uh, very young. What year did you graduate? 2009? You pussy. Two, 2004, <laughs> man. Jeez. 2002. 2006. You were 2003, Luca. 2003. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you we got held back six no. years. Were, were no. You, super you, know, you know, what's funny is I keep forgetting because my high school keeps sending me postcards with the wrong year on it. <laughs> so you so I keep thinking I'm, I graduated in 02, yeah. but I graduated in 03. Hey, um, what's up, guy? Wow, Yo. the, you're pretty old, Luca. Luca yeah. cannot remember how old he is. I have to tell him. He constantly asks me. Morgan, uh, you at least I? 30. Morgan, uh, how 20, old am I? 26? You're 27, Luco. I don't remember. Wow, I was actually pretty Jesus close. Christ. Age is irrelevant. And this guy is okay. like molesting me Hi. through the window. Yeah. What? <laughs> I don't know what he's saying. I don't want to look at him. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody help me. I don't think this For guy knows For the listeners, he's going to spell it on the window, guys. There's an awesome this dude outside. That window has AIDS now. <laughs> Uh, um, writing something on the window. Dave, can you come take a message from this guy that's writing on the window? <laughs> I'd rather not. He's writing invisible. He's writing invisible letters. Yeah, that guy was awesome. Hey. Thumbs up. Okay. Yeah. Moving on. Um, our video. Oh, oh, our, our, our video. Wants our, us to play a song. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, our show. Uh, Dave, help. Our show, please tell <laughs> Josh to get away. Was, our show is going to be. I don't know what it says. Our show is going to be August twenty fourth. Um, I don't know it's, what he, it's going to be. I, a, this is really Ed, hey, you got it. Yeah. What do you say? I I'm not paying attention. Somebody give him a thumbs up and ask. Uh, uh, Kevin, give, give him a thumbs, thumbs up. up. Give him. A, okay. Say. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> North uh, West Harley. Why, yeah, we'll some, we'll why don't we have Harley Davidson? Kim. Yeah. Why didn't you just point to your shirt if that's what you wanted us to say, dude? Stop writing on the window. Oh my dude. God! I can't. Uh, Jay. Dave. We <laughs> have somebody, this crazy drunk guy is writing he's on our windows awesome. and telling us because he's writing backwards to write okay. something. I, I, how do you know he's, he's Not drunk? Not your head is saying, okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> this you, this interview is going south. <laughs> really Let's fast. continue to where okay. we were going. Hey, if we stop looking at him, we'll probably so go If we away. ignore him, he'll go okay. away. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. Okay, 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 okay. This okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> This is awkward. <laughs> This guy okay. is awesome. He's yelling at me <laughs> something. <laughs> let's he's get out of Let's get him in the suit. Oh, 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 oh now he's pulling his pants. God. God. <laughs> Indecent exposure. Okay. That guy just pulled his pants um, off. Help me. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know what he's doing. I wish okay, we had video okay. of this. Okay, okay. Hey, all right, all right, all right. So, so your video is you guys are <laughs> recording a video. We're playing no, no video, no video, no video. Apparently, we, we have a show. <laughs> we have <laughs> we have a show coming up, August twenty fourth. <laughs> it's a backyard show. Um, the w- w- it's on twenty fourth and Kedzie. Okay. Area. Twenty Kedzie. Okay. Yeah. Area. Is so that you're not in Cicero? Entirely I th- sure I think it's, where it's, yeah. it's called Little Village. Yeah. So Cicero. <laughs> oh my god. Base. <laughs> and, and, like, yeah. No one look at him. No one look at him and I let's continue talking. Guys, so. <laughs> guys, keep eye contact. Stranger danger. Guys, <laughs> keep eye contact. Keep eye contact with me. Let's don't break this. Come on, guys. We can we can pull through this. <laughs> if, if, if I start crying we leave. <laughs> I'm scared for my life right now, guys. Uh, he's, he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. That guy was oh, awesome. God. We survived, guys. High fives. <laughs> right. High fives. Oh, we live. <laughs> now okay. sorry about that um, folks that was we did get through there, wait, so everyone knows there was this crazy dude drawing on our windows he kept licking his finger and drawing on the windows it's probably <laughs> like trying to spell something out for us backwards, backwards. so <laughs> what I, I don't know like i, I see a j and an l but that, that's the only thing that looks familiar j, though, morgan <laughs> i think he loves you <laughs> <laughs> i got some weird people and surely we digress that's disgusting <laughs> i uh, I mean, he wanted to show me his butt for crying out loud. That's pretty <laughs> gross. Okay, anyway, a show on the 24th. I was listening. Something on Kedzie and, uh, and yeah. Little Village. Continue. Um, you n- Nick knows the address. Uh, I think the address, from what I remember, is 2442 South St. Louis. It's it's going to be a couple bands. Is we go on at s- yes, yeah. yes, it is. Uh, we go on at 7. Uh, 7.20. 7.20. 20. And we're playing for about 40 minutes. Um it's going to yeah. be our first show back in, what, almost a year, Kevin? Almost a year. Almost a year. It's been a while. And is this a house party? Yeah. 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 Five, and five bucks, BYOB, no drugs. No drugs. Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> so it's BYOB and you want no drugs. That's not going to work. Yeah. No, or no, you no, want no I want drugs. Just Kevin. Drugs. No, Kevin's allowed. Show. Just Kevin's allowed. no visible drugs. Yes. Correct. So you guys know, have you guys ever heard of Dead to Fall? Yes. yes. Yeah, you know the song Major Rager? Yeah, that Rager? awesome Phoenix cover yes. album. You know the song Major Rager? Absolutely. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if we bring the right people and we may, it's going to turn into that. That would be pretty sweet. Well, what, uh, let's uh, let's show up. So who else is playing? Bring the party. Um, It's us. Uh, they came from nowhere. Ooh, I've it's heard like good things about them. Uh, Damnation. Damnation! They just released their EP. Speaking of which, oh, I no. should text Angel right now and be like, where are my demos, motherfucker? <laughs> Morgan just sounded like she was... She was but, but Morgan's pretty excited for this show. I can so tell. It definitely just sounded like she was trying out for some girls gone wild shit. hey who's I uh, would definitely not be this? flashing my boobies. Luca yeah. won't let me. Who's? <laughs> I like how it's he won't let me. He won't let me. He tells me to put him away. So, Luca, you should probably leave the room for a moment. So, anyway... Uh, whose house is this at? Do you know? Um, we don't know. No, the person's they don't know house. the person's house. We don't know the person's house, but the okay. it was the promoter that got a hold of us. It was, it was Amy, Amy yeah. Medina. Amy Medina, yeah, that's her name. So your first show back is going to be a house party. Yes, hell, oh, that's yes. going to be awesome. Well, this sounds fun. Yes, and, and I think uh, if you've been to go. any of our shows previously, you know that we it can get pretty rowdy. rowdy. Anyway. You know what's funny is we've tried to go to your shows and then you cancel yeah. on us. <laughs> yeah, you Thanks. went to the one. You guys should have went to the Diamond Plate show we had. Oh we my played. gosh, that, that show, show was, was ridiculous. Oh. That show was packed. Yeah, it was. Reggie's was packed. So we invited you guys. You guys backed out. Like when was it? Punk bitches. <laughs> when was it? Uh, it was last it, year, August nineteenth. Yeah. I feel like we were. Oh. August 19th. Oh, yeah. August 19th. What day was it on? Friday. I remember exactly where I it was. I was working at Lumal Nights, and I can't get off Friday nights there. Well, that sounds I like a personal problem. I was probably beating my pud. <laughs> probably. No, he was working nights. That's an night- acceptable an excuse. He was working <laughs> night shifts back then. You were closing. <coughs> yeah? I worked Friday night. Yeah, see, we were both working. We had legit jobs. Back then. Legit. Now I don't like have a job. Like Lou Malinati's is legit. I don't have a job anymore. I'm broke as fuck. You Morgan bum. is not a functioning part of society. Kev's you bum. <laughs> Kev, your mom just walked by. All right, well, I think now is a great time to uh, hear the new Terror in his okay. present sound. So you guys brought an acoustic guitar. Yes. You're going to play a new song for us. Are we going to step out and let them yes. rock in here? What is it called? It's called Pulp, Pulp Fiction. Fiction. Nice. All right. All right. We're going to have to. Give us just a second. Dave, can you give us some changing music, please? MC uh, Chris, right. baby. And a lot. I kind of like close encounters of the cavity kind of talking. 
of licorice, kisses, talk of chocolate, smiles, I want candy. I got a sugar tooth, put on your sugar candy, cause I wanna knock boots, lick a peppermint stick, till the lollipop droop, come drop it, don't stop, till it's lit, not loose. guys are ready i'll let you go for it. Right. Uh -huh. this is the world premiere of pulp fiction acoustically oh, Breathe life to rise again We will not be held down by oppression Resist temptation, renew compassion Become the lifting light in the darkness Pull away the blindfold Rise to your feet be the guiding hand to those who still held beneath Sacrifice all selfishness Above this and remain the truth in the lying world For too long we've put on blinders to those in need Eyes focused on violence and greed Deny the order, defy the ordinary One in a million standing defiance Pull away the blindfold Rise to your feet, be the guiding hand To those who still help beneath Sacrifice all selfishness Climb above this and remain the truth In a lying world It sounded good. Now we're going to get everybody else back in here. You put some candy, give me candy, candy head. Why are you keeping all the candy? Who made you candy king? If you don't give me some candy, I will make the lady sick. Well, we're playing uh, some musical chairs here, and, and that was Luco's butt Yikes. that you just heard drop on the floor. Very Gigi Allen of you, Luco. That was terrible for my ears. 
Uh, so so I wanna I wanna apologize for fucking up really bad. Or, Both of us did it. Right. <laughs> yeah, it happens. I played I, the I table, pro- so I, yeah. I didn't really fuck up. Is that yeah. the first time you've ever done anything acoustic? Yes. yes. So. It's very is that different. The fr- I mean, first time you ever done anything <sighs> table wise? <laughs> no. No. You play tables before? Uh, I'm actually sponsored by um, some oak I, companies. Ikea. Not many people know this, but Kevin plays a mean skin flute. Got that right. I think you made that joke last time you were here. No, I didn't. Oh, you're, you're talking. He you're thinking of a different band. Is I, he, I'm uh, pretty sure I did not, because I, you know, recycling is. I don't know, like, how many conversations you have about sucking dick, Morgan, but. It wasn't A lot us. of bands actually come on here and talk about their own dicks, so... Not us. I don't remember ever mentioning our dicks once. It might have... My dick is mediocre <laughs> at best. <laughs> well, that, right that, that streak went bye-bye. So we looked at the window, and apparently the guy that was I couldn't trying read any to of give it. us a message, it's not in English. It's in, sh- it's in Mandarin. Yeah. He it's looked like he, wa- he looked... He looked drunk. like he was from the Orient. <laughs> well, you speak drunk, Kevin. Why didn't you... <laughs> Because I'm not drunk. That's his native language. <laughs> That's Kevin's native tongue. He was born with a bottle of Jameson in his hand. True story. True story. Delicious green apple Slurpee. <sighs> Disgusting. Anyways. So we're back. I uh, We hope you enjoyed the song. I, I apologize for fucking up. And that was what song? That was Pulp, was Fiction. Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction. Yeah. And now... It's obviously not acoustic. Right. No. Is there a lot more screaming and all uh, that oh good yeah. stuff oh yeah. in there? All the verses are. The only thing that's the same are the way the chorus is sung, and that's about it. <laughs> Nick, give give a um, demonstration of your scream. Let's Maybe a little bit Let's away from it. the microphone. Uh, Let's hear it. Microphone? Let's hear it. I'm putting Nick on the spot. Sorry. And a little bit. Yeah! Yeah, that that it, it happens. <laughs> he didn't have his honey. I'm sorry, he didn't, I didn't his have honey and vinegar. My honey and my vinegar is, is my Nick. Is my now we're disappointing everybody. Drink <laughs> vinegar? I drink vinegar and honey. It I bet you it's actually good for your voice. It kills the bacteria enough. and it coats the the throat at the same time. I bet so you have great breath. Kind of, sorta. <laughs> How do you make that concoction? It's uh, a table you put vinegar, vinegar and a honey together. It's a tablespoon. I was of honey. asking Nick. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, jerk. No, it's just a tablespoon of honey and then a shot of vinegar. So and that's and that's it. Just vinegar straight. Vinegar straight. It's the Is most. It's the grossest tasting thing. Healthy you for you? I have no idea, but uh, it we're all gonna die work, someday. So. When did you? Uh, How, yeah, start where did you hear of that? Um, in college, one of my friends, uh, his dad was in a band, so. He passed on that to me. He's like, it, it works, so you should try it out. So I ran like to the nearest 7-Eleven and got vinegar and honey. The guy looked like me like I was retarded, but I mean, that, I mean, it does the trick. You it's guys easy. got any vinegar? Right. You got honey? <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with this boy? <laughs> so besides that house party that you guys are playing, do you have any other shows coming up? We're talking to a couple people right now. Um, we're talking to Throwdown uh, Booking, try and get us a show uh, September 7th, I believe. Uh, we'll have to see Mike's schedule. And then we're trying to set up a show with a bunch of friends of ours. We're going to make Mike pull double and maybe triple duty. We may make him do all of his bands in one shot. That would be pretty awesome. Day. Just kill him. What, what's the other band besides Southbound? Drowning. Drowning. Was he doing that band? Guitar. guitar. Yeah. So two guitars and drumming? Yeah. You're going to kill the man. He's it was he, his path. He chose it, man. He said yes, yeah, so... Hmm. Well, that's Is all there th- any local bands in the area that you guys uh, want to play shows with that you haven't, or that we haven't? I, that you I would haven't love played to play with, with already, or <laughs> Stab Twist Pole. Yeah, we got a, a big cool. shout out to to my boy Big Rob and Stab Twist Pole. The boys, fam. Um, <laughs> tight butthole. Tight butthole. <laughs> uh, they're they're <laughs> like they're. M- metalcore but they lean more to the hardcore side of metalcore so more like a more technical hate breed is what i i think i will put it yeah that's what i'm going with um other bands that we want to play with in the local scene any band that'll make us look good <laughs> wow, that didn't sound like a <laughs> dickhead <laughs> right? i kid i kid i expect um, that from kevin not you <laughs> so yeah, your that, yeah, your band. Sucks. So wait, what? All right, we'll play a show <laughs> with you guys. What? What's your band's name? Luco and Morgan. Dirty butthole sniffers. 
Dirty Butthole Sniffers. We'll that is quite an guys. original name. No one else has that name, so that's what I went with. <laughs> Nobody. We'll play um, with the four bands named Makeshift in makes Chicago. Uh, Jesus. Um, I would want. I would as much as it would hurt Mike. I would love to play with uh, Drowning in South End, uh, and then definitely want to play with Eye of Anubis. I um, love those motherfuckers. Yes, they are. They were formerly Slaughter of the Week, um, and now they are Eye of Anubis. Those dudes know how to party. Like, major rager. Last time I was at a party with them, all hell broke loose, and it was fantastic. So you're, you're saying if they... You're just going to say all hell breaks loose, you're not going to go into... So you're a fight broke out. If you play with this band, all hell's going to break loose. Yes, yes. But, in, but in a great way. In the a good way. The gates of hell will open, and the apocalypse will come. Was it at a house party or an actual show show? I, I'd rather... Oh, that was a house party. That was a house party. That was quite were there drugs involved? No, there were no drugs involved. Just a lot of alcohol. Well, wow. if you guys, if you guys want all hell to break loose, you could play with a pig champion. Ooh! Oh my God! The uh, guy beats I, himself senseless. I know. Senseless. Senseless. I know. Uh, I know Jim from Pig Champion. Me and him went to school together. Those guys are ridiculous. And those loves it. You know what? <laughs> um, Jim's a good dude. But due to due to some, uh, and Luke O just threw something. Was that at Morgan. necessary? <laughs> uh, it was. Okay. Due to Morgan, pay attention. Philosophical differences. I tend not to get along with those dudes. Because they're crazy. Just a little. They're insane. I mean, I love their music. I really do. They're they're brilliant. Uh, they definitely have the good old school hardcore. Morgan, you son of a bitch. What? What? You done over there, princess? Morgan counts the potato. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, Morgan, carry us. I got nothing. I'm listening to Ed's story. Ed, continue. <laughs> well, what <laughs> other bands do we want to play with, gentlemen? I want to play with Terror and His Presence. I hear they put on a good show. <laughs> uh, another one, I think, is... Uh, I, believe, I believe that constitutes masturbation, Trevin. If you're playing with yourself, that I believe that constitutes his masturbation. Okay. Dave, where's that laugh track? Dave, laughs. He's, he's, throwing your, he's throwing your garbage out. <laughs> <laughs> what a guy. <laughs> what a great guy. Poor Dave. You're a Thanks, great guy. Dave. You guys just walk oh, all over Davey. him. <laughs> I'm, I'm sort of the intern. He loves it. Dave the intern. Hey, Dave, awesome. who's your boss? Well, Everybody. last week I had a water <laughs> bottle to throw out, and I didn't want to walk into garbage can. I just gave it to Dave. Oh, You're Dave. such a horrible Before person. Before I left. <laughs> You're a horrible friend and Thanks, person. Thanks, Dave. I love you. No, hey, you by the way, congratulations on Eric again for graduating. You're back. Oh, thank he you. He graduated la- last year. <laughs> week. Last week year. Hey, we got a person staring at us again. He's saluting us. Salute back. Hey. What a crazy guy. <laughs> I don't speak Spanish, sorry. This is what happens when we come up here. Just all the always, crazies come out. Always. Something bad happens when Terror and his presence shows up. I mean, this is only your second time. I know. Just but just in general, time. like anywhere we go, something always happens. What's we, so we used to have a terrible stigma where anytime we practice, a terrible storm would happen. And I, I That's actually up. pretty awesome. Why don't you write a song about it? We did. It was like an 11, 12-minute sludge metal song, and Wasteland? it sucked. Wasteland? It hey, sucked. Hey, hey, your mama. It, w- it did not suck. It, it was sucked. my favorite song. It, it was. It was our first song. <laughs> Which it meant it result. sucked even worse. So why don't you just rewrite it? Because no. Kevin won't let me. No. Even though, even though he doesn't, you know, try to help me write anything, I can't rewrite a song. Wait, wait, why do you need his permission? Why don't you just do it? Exactly. Because he won't play it. Why don't you just not tell him it's that song? I mean, he'll probably because be it'd be pretty obvious. It'll <laughs> probably be. I'll probably be drunk. Yeah, he'll probably be realize. drunk and not r- remember drunk. what you wrote. <laughs> just be like, just play this riff for me, Kevin. All right, how, how about sounds. this? If you rewrite it, I will play it. Ooh. Ooh. If you build it, they will come. Ooh. <laughs> he said, "Come." <laughs> Oh. Jesus Christ on the cross. Thanks, Dave. <sighs> no, but seriously, how about to write about some of these mishappens? 
Mishappenings. Mishappenings. We're actually we're gonna I'm write. I'm not the best of these. I'm guys. sorry, but I'm looking at your boss or whoever in the big blue shirt. Please He's don't do just that. He's jamming out, dude. He is rocking out. He Dave, turn around, look at. I saw. It's funny. I don't want to see that. He's rocking oh. out. What's he doing? <laughs> he, he's. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, I uh, hey. gotcha. I can kind of see through the. We are crack. one of the songs we are going to write is gonna be it's gonna be an all out party song, um, just because honestly we are we love we love to party. Except after we shows. We love the party. Except after shows. After shows, we're too tired to do anything. Even so then, don't so party you with you guys uh, after your shows. You should take that uh, Vega Boys beginning of their song, We Like to Party, and then take the beginning of that and then fade out into a brutal <sighs> How about breakdown. We not? Morgan, you're full hey, of good they, ideas tonight, they, Thanks aren't for the you? suggestion, but... I am. No. The blonde is coming out. Oh, Morgan. I'm just saying. I, I think it'd be an awesome idea. So. No, call me maybe. <laughs> no, Nick. No. I'll Soft play it. I'll do it. Hard. Don't Please do it. Not. I Dave. hate that song. Do it, Dave. More than life itself. We Dave, don't, don't, don't want to make version. Luke out. Yeah, that song's terrible. It's okay. It haunts I, my nightmares. I did this once to him when we had uh, All right, band moving on, on and asked to listen to No, Maroon none of this happened. Moves like Jagger. This love has Shut <laughs> up. It was Moves Like Jagger, and it was awesome. Well, we anyway, like moving on. We're in the studio with Terror in his presence. Let's yo, get yo, back yo. to that. Uh, hey, guys. Hey. So take it away, Morgan. Are we going to listen to the last song that you guys... No uh, Saviors, a.k.a. The out? Spirit? Um, before we hear the changes to it on the yeah. one last time to yeah. hear the old stuff before you make the new. It sounds like a good idea. Uh, Sweet. Play the last one. All right. So this one is No Saviors, a.k.a. The Spirit. Dude, you my yep. mic don't matter. Uh, <laughs> God, can I yeah, kill you? Dave. You guys have oh, really I love changed. Oh. You guys have really changed epic. your sound. Nick's Dude, dancing was really <laughs> Dave was awesome. I, I have Dave. To. Is that the new song? You, Is that you the new sound? To, yes. You have to remember. I love it, guys. If Justin yeah. Bieber had seen you sooner. Oh man, Dave. Sure. Do you not know? Sure. Do you do not know that girl got famous because of Justin Bieber? Really? Yes. Maybe. Justin Bieber saw her make the YouTube videos. And put in Why do you know this? I watched E News. <laughs> that that was your first mistake. Okay, so anyway, this is this song is called The Spirit. Dave, hit it. The song is
You're listening to the Metal Experience. Only on Slam Internet Radio. And we're back. We just heard Terror in his presence. Terror in his presence. Mulligan. I'm DJ Wiener. What's going on, boy? Show me your dicks. Uh, <laughs> what was the song we heard? And um, what's the new title for it? The Spirit. Spirit. And then what is the... Uh, it was originally called The Spirit? It no, it was originally called No Saviors. And that's what we just heard, No yeah, Saviors. You, saw, you heard No so Saviors. So, Spirit, vocally, you write the lyrics? This is actually... That's, that's me. What is that one about, bad boy? Uh, that's still about my pop-pop. That makes sense. Yeah. I like it. Good yeah. call. Yeah, actually, I have to give Kevin the credit on that one. He's the one who came up with the idea to call it the spirit. Kevin does have good ideas every once in a while. Sometimes. Sometimes. Not very often, but when I do, I make them count. Nice. Kevin's that guy where, you know, you see those memes everywhere where it says, Morgan broke something. Morgan broke the headphones. <laughs> um, There's a meme you, you ever see? No, something. you know those memes that say, good friends will bail you out of jail, best friends will be in jail with you saying, um... Like no, I've never heard that, but apparently I don't have friends. Yeah. So. You that's, loser. That's, that's Kevin. Kevin's the dude who would be sitting in jail going, that was fucking awesome with, uh, with you. Why is there a golf? A four. What? It's something for you to play okay, with. Okay, so Luco has a segment. Hi, Dave. Hi, Luco. Okay. I, I didn't know if you were ready yet. God damn it. Now it's time for... Hey, man, look what I found. Only on the Middle Experience. So we have come to the conclusion that most of the bands that I play are from Texas and Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. The stars at night are big For some and reason, bright. deep in, in the, the heart of Texas. Ball sack. <laughs> Got it. Uh, for some reason, yeah, I, I just keep on picking bands from Texas and Pennsylvania. And, and Slovenia. California. And Slovenia. And California. For some reason. Start and picking bands from Montana. Okay, yeah. I, I know. I, I'm but sorry this to week, your segment really absolutely fast. not. This week, we got a band from Dallas, Texas. <laughs> the band Miles Before We Sleep. We got a twofer for you on a Tuesday with Hopeless and Combine. Two for Tuesday. I like Titty Tuesday better.
You're listening to the Metal Experience. Only on Slam Internet Radio. And we're back. That was Miles Before We Sleep from Dallas Tech Theft uh, with the yeah. songs Hopeless and Combine. Check them out. Pretty tweet. Uh, that's sweet. all I got. So we deciphered, thanks to Kevin, what is written on our window in gibberish drunkenness <laughs> because uh, Kevin speaks drunk, homeless person. Um, and it said, What does it say? It's a, he said that he's our biggest fan. He has no idea who we are. <laughs> I guarantee it. But, but it thanks. doesn't matter. It holds a special Unknown place. Morgan, man. lock your windows. Rock my windows? Lock. <laughs> lock. Because they're ripping everybody out They're ripping everybody out here. Okay, then. Well, hide your keys. Hide your wife. Lock my windows. <laughs> okay, this is Morgan weird. Has not been a part Morgan, of you don't know what's going on, do you? I know that song and what it was because I worked at Hot Topic when those shirts came out. Did you? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Cool what story, bro. Job that, was, yeah. that job was awesome, <laughs> and I wanted They're ripping back. everybody. You can come work for the one I work at. No, he I want to go back to the one I no? work at. I can't Don't work at some place that's far away from my house. And it's for, a mini- for a minimum wage. Yeah. Money's but is money's. But I know. But I've learned my lesson about driving long distances for worthless jobs. Boom. So well, technically all jobs are worthless, but well, they're worthless. Anyways, they're worthless. let's get back. Oh, to jobs are worthless. And uh, where can people find you on the Internet? And when can we hear the new stuff? And like said, where Luko, else can we see you live? Jesus Christ. Show. Everything and anything about you in 60 seconds or less. Go. Ready, Ed. I'm awesome. Ready, Ed, go. <laughs> Andrew, okay. down six seconds because Kevin opened his mouth. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm awesome. I don't need the rest of the, the hey. seconds. Hey. Hey. Okay. Hi. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Um, the show on August 24th. Yeah, August 24th is our first show back to the music scenes. Find us on time. Facebook. Yeah, facebook.com slash TIHP1. Um, T I H P one. Yes, Terry Indigo Harry Penis. Nice. If you can't remember that, then you're full potato. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we're hopefully gonna have every all the music done by the end of the year at late. Didn't you say you guys had a YouTube? Page yes, we too? do. Uh, Kevin runs that, so Kevin can tell you about you that. You can find us at YouTube. Uh, just type in Terror in his presence. <laughs> We're Feel the only band named Terror in his presence. Feel free to troll all you like. We enforce it. Please do. It, it, Please we do. enjoy. We enjoy. If you think we suck, just tell us we suck because <laughs> we can just <laughs> laugh at you because you are probably some fat bastard sitting in your fucking uh, mother's room. basement like playing yeah. World of Warcraft yeah. with your hand down. <laughs> Cannot your pants even play an instrument. <laughs> oh jeez, we got to the insults. Oh, guys. It's it also terms of endearments. Yes. Yes. Luco's only mad because he knows that's him. Any uh, yeah. shout outs tonight? You guys know anybody listening? Your mom, your dad, your next door neighbor. If you're your listening drummer? to this, then I'm sorry. Your mom, dad. Um, I, I don't think Mike is listening to this only because he's probably at work and I'm not sure if he can get internet at work on a forklift. Um, Be a lot cooler if you it, could. It would. Um, Anybody who did actually read our posts and listen to uh, this, we appreciate it. <laughs> as big a as big a dumbasses as we've been tonight, and I feel like dumb as fuck because I fucked up the song. Sorry, but that's part of the Terran is sorry package. You have to yeah. come to expect this with us. Yeah, you know what? I'm. I promise you, I will play it a lot better when you actually come see us. I'm actually a decent guitarist. Luco and Morgan can back me He's up. He's garbage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's hey, Luco, rubbish. what the five fingers say to the face? Don't say it. Get it! <laughs> Get it! <laughs> All right, leave me alone, guy. <laughs> and don't you have an announcement for your band? You're looking for somebody? Oh, yeah. Yes. Um, we are currently looking for a guitarist. Lead or rhythm, because I don't want to play solos all the time anymore. I actually enjoy He's writing lazy. music. Um, solos can be a pain in my ass because then it's just one more thing I have to think about when I write. Your vision um, is like Sleep of Wizard. Uh, we, um, we practice out in Joliet, so you best believe that you're going to have to come, dr- you're going to have to drive if you don't live in Joliet. Yeah, so have your driver's license. 
Yeah. Um, and try also, not to get mugged, right? Uh, yeah. we're, we are actually putting an age limit now. It, 18 and up. You had people it. under eighteen. We yeah, caught, we caught yeah. Our our last drummer, Dan, was uh, when we when he first started, it was, was seven. School, yeah, yeah, he was he was seventeen. I know he was like oh seventeen, but still, he 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 acted his age. There's a difference there. Yeah, and that's not. So the whole good. one year, eighteen and up is gonna make a big difference. Yeah, actually. Well, how old's your new drummer? Twenty two. Twenty two. Yeah. Oh, I was waiting for you. Go eighteen. I thought they were going to say, like, you know, 12, 13. 12, 13. He's 17 years old. One band what did come on the show. Like our, uh, we're, like, 30 years old, and our drummer's 14. In uh, Hazard. They were 21, good, so. 22, and the girl was, uh, the girl. The girl? They had was, a girl in the band? Yeah, the girl, guitarist, that oh didn't God, show up, that we did uh, it over the phone. Oh, yeah. She was 15. That's kind of creepy. That butt Who's butt Are you looking the at the dog's <laughs> butt? I Nick is checking out hey little dog, chihuahuas. You got a purred of mouth. <laughs> Hi, girlfriend. Get some skippy. I don't know that guy. He's a weird looking motherfucker. Uh, okay, so anyway. my butt. <laughs> Address all complaints to the metal experience. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get complaints. We blame this all on you guys. We will take full responsibility. Actually, actually, and Luco, I'll just pass it off been, to Josh. Luco's been cool. It's all Morgan's fault. Oh, Morgan. Blame Morgan. It's all Morgan. I do run this show. She does everything. <laughs> that's why when you see me and I'm like, that's because I'm waiting for, oh, people at home, I just sit here with my mouth open. That's because I'm waiting for Morgan to say something. Because my words are supposed to come out of his mouth. It's not the you only suck, thing Luco. that comes out of his mouth. Oh. oh. <laughs> Fat words. I man. don't get it. I don't get it either. <laughs> and is there any other announcements you guys have? Anything else? So you're looking for out? a guitarist. Yes. We can yes. find you on YouTube. We can find you on Facebook. On Your new CD should be out before the end of the year. Yes. Hopefully. You have a show coming up by the end of the month. Yes. yes. August 26th. Not this Friday, 24th. 24th. I was paying attention. And the it's at a house party. Yes. Things are going to get rowdy. Yeah, Stuff for sure. Weird. And the porno gets released when? Next week. Yeah. Next week? Nice. Just, just making sure. Yeah. You were a part of it. No, All three no. inches. Oh, Definitely geez. was not. There. That that scene with Kevin was Did very passionate. That's oh jeez. Pushing it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dave. Let's do a segment. I'm feeling very uncomfortable right now. <laughs> <laughs> that was yours, not mine. I I, I clicked the thing that said Fail! local round. I clicked the thing that said local roundup. I swear to God. Because whatever, Kevin, Dave. Make up your excuses. Kevin's spirit for animal is now. the title bear. All right, Dave. Do this. It's time for the local roundup. All right. <laughs> Woo! I really don't remember that applause being there ever, but it felt good. Um, <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> so, huge you announcement. You good, you uh, huge announcement. We posted it yesterday. Huge. I mean, it is for me. It, it means. Okay. Whatever. It's mediocre it sized for me. Um, <laughs> we posted it yesterday on our Facebook page, but we are. But no one reads that. I do. Up. I don't. Nobody goes on Facebook anymore. It's all about Google Plus. I would really <laughs> love everybody's mics muted and me just be able to talk. Hey, oh my my ears! I can only hear myself. This is awesome. Okay, so many. <laughs> um, my brother. Okay, just turn the mics on so it doesn't. <laughs> um, we. So my brother has joined the team of the Metal Experience, and woo, 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 woo. welcome aboard, Derek Witt, everybody. Welcome aboard, my brother, who is not here right now. Um, he's going to be doing. He's here in spirit. In spirit, yeah. Uh, show reviews because he goes to a lot of concerts that I won't even touch, and uh, a lot, a lot. Like, hey, I just came back from butthole fucking yeah, vagina there's, face there's like show. There's one every what? week, so. I figured he could do something uh, to contribute that way because there's a lot of fans that will listen to a lot that of That listen stuff. to a lot of the crazy stuff that no one else has heard of. Yeah, and uh, he'll be doing CD reviews for both uh, unsigned and si signed bands, so you can start submitting uh, the So how much CDs do we have to pay him for a good zero. review? Well, I mean, if it sucks, he's just not going to type you <laughs> off. <laughs> That's pretty much the deal. If you don't get typed up, if you sign us our stuff, either we're full of submissions or, <laughs> sorry, you're out of luck. You don't sound that great. Sorry, Nick. Um, the only ones that he'll actually do bad reviews about is signed bands because, you know, they do get bad write-ups from people. But signed... Wait. What? what? Signed... <laughs> okay. Signed bands. 
Wait, the only band still do bad reviews about are signed bands. So if you're signed, he's going to do bad reviews about. That's basically I mean, what you said. Hey, you're, you're signed. Big, stupid you. idiot. <laughs> I mean, if a signed band sucks, then he's going to say that their CD is terrible. But we're not going to do that to unsigned bands. We're only going to choose bands. I'll do it. Really yeah, you're fair. just going to choose to not talk about yeah, I think about if a band truly band. sucks, then they should be told. You that they truly, truly suck. suck. This is garbage. See, I have a feeling we're going to eat our words because we're just going to put this album out. And well, as long as I have some value, then, then, really then take a vote right now. What do you think he should do? Do you think he I should think type he should be up? Honest about about it. But if it's somebody around the area, he this should say like that their CD shit. is terrible. He will. It's his. You know opinion. what? He should. He should use tact. Like he should be honest, but be tactful. Like he Boom. shouldn't just be like they. You guys fucking suck. You should you know burn your instruments. Well, and right. Yourself. Constructive unless criticism. you're designing the skyline. Then by all constructive means, just criticism. <laughs> yeah, constructive right. criticism. Use tact, but you know don't. I mean, constructive criticism. Like oh, the guitarist could be better. Sound quality could be better. They should just get rid of their vocalist. <laughs> um, <laughs> you guys should just ban <laughs> Nick. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm gonna choke you out, bitch. Brutal. All right. Well, I just I I wanted something for him to do, and I felt that uh, since Your he listens to so much stuff and goes to so many shows, that he has always wanted to do something for us. But now that he's going to be turning 21, it's time for him to, you know, step up and participate. So. Yep. And Man. if he fucks up, I'm firing him. With that said, now are you away. literally gonna light him on fire? Uh, no. But anyway, here are the rest of the announcements. Uh. Coming up for the next week and everything else that's Woo! happening. Uh, shows at another hole in the wall that are looking for bands. Uh, you can email Darlene at ExxonLive.com for more info. Boom. Uh, there you guys go. But check out these dates if you want to jump on these shows. Uh, need two on. bands for September 5th with I Empire, Downstate, and Vilify. Uh, five bands needed for a local rock show on September 7th. And another metal show on September 8th. And three bands are needed for September 28th with uh, Morrow, A Hero of Fake, and Life is a Ghost. Check out Sorrow Blinds My Eyes from Finland. They just released their first song off their second CD, Trigger Happy. And I did listen to the song, and it is pretty awesome. Uh, Miles from Exile are releasing their second CD next week. Love those guys. Not physical CDs yet, but they will be up for download all their songs. We got to hear it last week. That's pretty tits. Or two weeks ago. It was fucking awesome. Cannot wait to get our copy of that. And them live was pretty badass. Those guys guys are Remember when you were supposed to be there? We're like, oh, nice. We'll get to see Terror also. And then you guys And unfortunately, the poster in the band room now has your name and you're right there. My favorite is what you guys posted. Hey, tell all those guys we said hi. <laughs> like, we're like, aren't you supposed what? to be playing? <laughs> are you playing? Those guys are awesome, though. Do some miles uh, from Exile. Um, anybody who is listening who hasn't heard of them, check them out. They're totally You will not worth, be disappointed. Yeah, they're, they are. And you know what? I'll, I have to say, like, a lot of local bands, um, that like, they're pretty well known for the most part. I mean, they played Mayhem Fest. A lot of local bands who get like that can be kind of douchebags but they definitely are they are they are some of the nicest dudes um they're funny as hell uh they keep it real yeah they do. keep yeah. it real son they're from the streets so i don't know about definitely that. check them uh out. but also check out their facebook page because they are doing contests and giveaways before their cd so within the next facebook week you page? can it's miles from exile <laughs> is it just facebook.com so slash miles from i'm pretty sure it's miles okay. from exile band or just miles from exile but it not to be confused Oh, with, with Miles before Miles we sleep. Before we sleep. All right, so anyway, tonight. Armored Assault looking for a guitarist. After the Spire looking for a drummer. Strongman looking for a drummer. Um, Unsanctioned is looking for a full-time drummer. And a tune for 1103, our band looking Boom. for uh, another guitarist. And yeah, drummer. really quick, me, use, me having played with you guys before, definitely try and join in on this because it's actually pretty good music. We're so, recording right so, now. We just okay. need another guitarist. And and why don't you drummer. just have a session? Oh, drummer. Why don't you have a session guitarist? I don't know. Cause I'll we do it even for free. We have to pay people for that? Yes. Normally you pay session members, well, but I'll do it for that. free just because you guys are <laughs> friends. Hmm. So well, I'm a terrible bassist. I'll, I'll, I'll stand up. We don't like need pretend bass, all right, Dave? Dave, Dave shut out. your fucking mic off and go stand in the corner. All right. Iconicost is uh, looking for a Got show him. for <laughs> August 27th Singer. in the Illinois area. <laughs> if you're putting together a show... Uh, contact Iconicost. Uh, here are the shows coming up in the next week. Thursday, August 16th at the House of Blues. Starts at 1230, all ages. It's $41 with tax. Jeez! But it's for the Summer Slaughter Tour. Fuck Woo! that. Local bands.
plans are to be announced. <laughs> it's going to be Cannibal Corpse between the Beard and me, Periphery, Vale and Maya. Uh, <laughs> could, could you say that again? Maya? Maya. 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 Whatever. Wait, Maya. who's the band before Maya. that? Jaffer Cowboy, Vilma. Exhumed. Did you go Exhumed, see Exhumed. Go Horror, Cerebral Boar, and Within the Ruins. Luca and I will be at the Summer Slaughter at the Rave in Milwaukee. And that one starts at 2.30 on Friday. It's all ages. Tickets are no longer available online. You must buy at the door or from local bands, which I think um, right now it's uh, Bludgeon and Bludgeon? Bludgeon and Dead Man's Hand, I think got announced. And then there's... More, but I'm sorry to interrupt really fast, it. but definitely buy from local bands, guys, because it's actually very tough trying to sell. And it's, and it's a lot cheaper. Yeah. It's a lot cheaper, and you get to you know help these guys out play with bands. And that it's they just dream cheaper. About. So uh, it helps their support their habits, man. <laughs> so the only other one that's different, be, uh, that's different off the Chicago date. It's all the same lineup except Reflections got added to. The Milwaukee. Um, also on Friday at Mojo's, 6.30. Uh, price is to be announced all ages. Go check out our guitarist um, play with his other band in Ocean Walker. Um, and then they're playing with Desona, Voltress, Scars of Armageddon, Abscessor, and Manslaughter Charges. Manslaughter Charges. Uh, Insert Randy Blythe joke here. <laughs> all right, then. Uh, Friday at the Fifth Amendment in Indiana. It's 21 and up, $5, 8 p.m. He's a destroyer, a likely story, never less the vain, anchor the ocean, a night at the... Uh, Roxbury? <laughs> no. <laughs> da, Chalet. Da, da, da. Chalet? Chalet? That's uh, how you say that? I don't know. That's weird. Spell and it. And our friends in Reaping Asmadia. Asmadina? Asmadia. Asmodia. They're back Asmodia. from Minnesota. Too bad we're not being able to go out there. I wish I could Those see Those guys them are again. good. Saturday, August 18th at the Grid Zone in Indiana, all ages. It's free. It starts at 5.30. Miles from XL are playing with Angel Grave, Acidic Assault, and Crucifixion. Oh, nice. Um, at, on s- Saturday, it's Headbanging in the Woods. It's at Pioneer Woods in Willow Springs, uh, Illinois. It's $10, $5. In the woods? In yes, the woods. In the woods. Uh, oh, my nose itches. It's ten dollars. In the woods. Shut up. In Five dollars if you bring canned goods. It's BYOB, but they don't want you bringing glass. Starts at ten in the morning. It's all ages. It's fighting for scraps. Redneck remedy. Whiskey dick. Maggot twat. <laughs> maggot twat and pig champion. Maggot, maggot twat. twat. Fuck yeah. And it starts Dude. at ten in the morning. I thought the they morning. broke up. There's only five bands. They have a new CD coming out this year. Morning. Do they? Okay. Oh yeah. I, I didn't didn't a member of maggot twat go to a hospital? Yeah. The dude got his fucking skull crushed in at one of the shows oh by a garbage God. can. But Jesus. they're also going to have vendors at the sh- uh, show uh, Booze Clues, Mad About Alice Cupcakes, and Goldilocks uh, CG Photography. Blue, uh, booze c- Clues is blown glass. So I would expect, like, Ooh. pot paraphernalia. <laughs> Just saying. I'm there. there. So, so. so Morgan has now expressed her enjoyment of smoking. I do. Uh, Saturday at Sludges. It's five dollars, all ages, two p.m. It's Grub and Grind, two thousand twelve. This is in Illinois. Um, so these are the bands playing. Got a problem from Wisconsin is a two-piece thrashcore band. Dogma from Indiana. Dogma from Indiana is Bob Seger black metal. What? Yes. Wow. That yes! sounds epic. Murda is the ultimate. Murda. The ultimate in barf grind. <laughs> What are Cheeseburger core. Stuck in a rut is super duper low end grind violence. Uh, these genres of music are awesome. <laughs> Terror Knot is Forest Crew black metal. We knew that. Yeah, we knew that. <laughs> oh, man. Shit Hammer is D beat slot bowl. <laughs> 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 what was that again? D beat slot bowl. That is great. I, I it know it's crusty as Oh, fuck. wait. There's more guys that get even worse. Morbid obesity is Pillsbury Doughboy violence. That sounds awesome. And That's I kind of know what D-beat is, but... Um, yeah. Smash Potato, who are fucking awesome, awesome is Ice tea Fiends of the Thrash Core Nature. Okay, yeah, they're just making <laughs> shit up at this point. Bogrote is Primal Doom Beats and Ulcers. That's Splatter Control is Grinding Thrash Madness. And Disembodiment is Brutal Metal Sweethearts. I don't know. I think it's fucking <laughs> awesome. So anyway, check that show out. I was um, looking for what? What was the one of the genres? Oh, shit! The piece of paper. Pillsbury. Dope shit boy stained. Oh. What was shit it? Shit hammer. Shit, shit hammer is DB or? slot bowl. I'm looking for that genre of music. Do you have that here? <laughs> okay. Anyway, like, sir, this is Best Buy. Saturday. Saturday about. at Autos in DeKalb. It's twenty-one hey, and up. Seven dollars. Eight p.m. It's. Sir, kick that foot. Sir, kick her foot. 
Are you doing a like, chicken yeah. dance, Kevin? Is yeah. that your mating call? This girl outside just okay. stood there and she kicked her foot. She's like, yeah. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> Saturday, Auto's Nightclub in DeKalb. It's uh, 21 up, $7, 8 p.m. Gunner's Daughter, Unvisioned, Fists of Rage, oh and Judd. Also on Saturday, Judd? I bought a brew. Man, yes. get out of here, son. 21 and up, Price at the Door, 9 yeah. p.m. Fool, you play too much. Bleed for the Fallen and Vicarious. Bleed for the Fallen. Love those dudes, too. I've heard of yeah. that Go support them. before. Go support them. Um, also on Saturday, at Yield Town Inn, 9 p.m., 21 and up, $8, Armored Assault, Rumors of War. Uh, how did they pronounce this last week? Bio Hazard. Mimic? Bio Mimic? And M-I-O. Pit Fiend? I yeah. See, see. Um, also on Saturday, JJ Kelly's 21 and up. Eat, uh, 10 p.m., $5. Tomorrow has arrived in Proletariat. Sunday, August 19th at the exit, 10 p.m. It's a free show, and it's 21 up because Luco and I are going to be DJs. That's this Woo! Sunday, right? This is this Sunday. We are going to be DJing. I'm scared. DJing. At the exit. So we will be playing. And it's free. We will be playing signed and unsigned bands. I'm going to play so many badass unsigned bands. So, uh, There's so many good unsigned bands Wait, that send you, us can you have from a, Texas. Can you have a terror power hour? Just the we same can. songs over and over again? I don't know about that. Because uh, we are going to be DJing for at least three hours. So come check three out the Three hours at the have. exit. Drink with us. Well, with me. With us. Morgan I'll will be, be sober because... Uh, I will not be sober. Thank I you. have to drive. Yes. I mean, she yes, has to no, drive. Yes, no, you have to drive. Also, uh, wait, 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 wait. You're going to be drinking. I can drink. And driving. And driving? And dri- what? Is the pot... I what? don't Metal get black? drunk. You better food. call Ed when you get home to make sure <laughs> you got there, okay? Drunk. I want... I want... I don't get drunk. That's a phone call to make sure you got home. Loud noises. Please. Also, yeah, on well, Sunday at the Kevin Ultra Lounge, 21 and up, 9 p.m. If you have money and don't want to come have see us, money. DJ, go see Astaris play with Veneficum. Uh, no, I wouldn't Venificum. go there. Go to the exit. Uh, they are coming on our show in December. Well, um, oh. Auto, Latry, and Purge. I'm sorry, I cannot pronounce these bands. They're too foreign. Um, <laughs> <laughs> on Sunday at the Bottom Lounge, it starts at 5.45 p.m., which is an odd time, and it's all ages and $10. <laughs> it's goodbye, good sense. Save yourself. Wow. Space of mind, Altus, and fist, uh, first to the sky. I don't care. And Sunday, <laughs> <laughs> Sunday at the Gap House, $3 in advance from Facebook. The face- what? The Gap House, $3 in advance from Facebook page, Gray Angel Productions, $5 at the door. It's an outdoor event, all ages, 5 p.m. in South uh, Bellet, Illinois. And it's going to be Mechaber. Uh, from Wisconsin, Ominous right. Conception. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I give you an A for effort. I give you an A They're for effort. They're from Montana? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Is it M.O. Montana? No. Yes, M- Missouri. M-O Montana. Okay. The Homicide Kingdom from Wisconsin. M-O Missouri? And Casket M-T Robbery from Wisconsin. Nice. And Shaz... I can't Doing pronounce that one, guys. Shaft's cock? Shaft's tax kick con. Shaft's tax tax the con. Shaft's from Illinois. I cannot pronounce this. You try this. It's crazy. Kevin, Kevin's going to Kevin, try and finish what this. What is that? Okay. Shaft's right? Sh- okay. Wow. Yeah. It has an X in it. You did it. You know you're badass when you put an yeah. X in your metal band name. Okay, it's so just anyway. like xylophone. And last, the final show before I can finally get out of this hot room. Uh, Sunday at the Subterranean. Oh, sexy man. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. No comment. 7.30 p.m. $10, 17 true. and up. Not really. Don't act, Sarah Long don't act like you're not impressed. Entropy, Narvale, and Depremacy. Jeez, that was a tough <laughs> one, huh? I'm out of breath. And forever, Morgan. Let's give her a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Kevin's being a douchebag. It's exactly 10 o'clock, guys. That means our show's over. And Fuck you that. can check Ten out more the hours. warehouse <laughs> that is coming on next. Thank you, for, thank you for having us on, guys, again. And keep a lookout I for New Terror and his presence. I know we're a pain in yeah, the when ass. I hope you guys... When when is it? All right, give us a date. Um, Don't fuck around. Give me a date. When's I can it be I out? can give you a month, not a date. I, we're a month. planning. We're planning on December. December. Like, all honestly, Ooh. we're there planning on December. Um, uh, putting out the new CD. Uh, Ula, if you like the old stuff, I oh, you're probably not gonna like the new stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, but if you did enjoy the um, new song, thank you. That's our album. We're gonna sound like. Sorry for fucking up. up. Me and Nick. 
Kevin was awesome on the table. Thanks a lot, guys. <laughs> Thank you, Morgan and Luke right, for having uh, me. Thanks, Dave. Dave, why don't you pull up that new All That Remains song that got oh, released? No. I can feel it. It's a tear uh, to yeah. stone. Really want to hear I, that I, song. I, I, I was to pull up uh, Venom's Black Metal. Hell I yeah. like it. <laughs>